What's up, everybody? Redbeard Games here. We're going to start a new series today. We're going to go into outer space. We're going to build a base. We're going to try to survive as long as possible. Oh, yeah. This game is an absolute love of mine. I was debating whether I should play it or not, but I'm going to. I need to wear glasses for this one because some of the print is really small. And I actually need to be able to read it. Uh... Yeah, my eyesight's not so great. But anyways, everybody, welcome to the first episode of Oxygen Not Included. This is an older game. Uh, I've played probably like 700 hours in this game, never been able to beat it. It's a big brain game. I can't figure out how to build rockets and take off and all that bullshit, but it's a great way to pass some time super fun super engaging the sounds are awesome everything about this game is uh endearing so we're gonna take a drink from the big pink cup and then we're gonna get into it episode one of oxygen not included fuck yeah this game's a little slower paced than the other games i've been playing but you know what? Let's just hang out and have a good time. That's what life's all about, isn't it? I'm not going to play with the DLC on. I'm just going to play, you know, ultra basic. Literally ultra basic. On no sweat. Because I don't like to die. I hate killing off my people. I'm going to take a random seed. And I'm not going to fuck with the settings. I'm just going to play. If you've never seen this game before you should check out some videos of it it gets wild absolutely wild you have to take control you have to keep track of literally everything on the map from temperature to germs you gotta build your own bathrooms you gotta grow your own farms you gotta make your own food you gotta keep them all happy you gotta decorate appropriately you gotta control the temperature it's wild it's a lot and uh, there are some people that are fucking absolutely amazing at this game. And I'm not. But I love to play it. It's so good. I enjoy it wholeheartedly. It's embedding the metals right now. You know, the copper ore. Generating interest. I don't know what that means. I'm also going to play on slow mode. There's three modes you can play. There's uh, slow, medium, fast. Obviously, when you got some crazy tasks going on, you can speed it up and, you know, all that fun stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to enjoy this and just kind of hang out, record some videos, listen to the spacey music, which I love, by the way. This game has amazing audio. The uh, developers, Clay, did an amazing job with this game. They also made... Uh, don't starve which is more of a roguelike survival type game which uh, i didn't get as into as this one but it was also really fun to play i just could never figure out what to do you've seen me play games i can never figure out what to do i, I basically just sit here and plummet most of these characters to their death over and over again until it says you made progress that's not a terrible way i enjoy myself It is a long loading screen. I had deleted this off my computer for a long time when I was re-downloading it on Steam. It said I had 780 hours into this game or something, but I'm pretty sure that I left it on overnight a whole bunch of times, just like falling asleep while playing it, waking up with a dead colony. I don't think I've actually physically played it for that long. Even though it is possible. Anything's possible. But I don't think they account for away from keyboard time, if you know what I'm saying. Success. Space adventure awaits. We're going to be able to pick our friends here. They like to call them duplicants in this game. They are uh, amazingly animated. So fun. Let's see, who do we got? We got Gene, Nicola, and Ashkin. Building impaired, that's fine. 
biohazardous, narcoleptic. So we're gonna re-roll the narcoleptic. We can't have him falling asleep just randomly. What I want is somebody that's smart and can do research. So you gotta research like buildings and new things that you can do on the map. So I'm actually just gonna not cheat, but guide it to, so I can get a researcher and don't have to keep re-rolling. Builder, digger, doctor, farmer, researcher. Yeah, there we go. And has hard digging. That's interesting. Decreased calories though. I wanna re-roll. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. All right, let's go. The Incredible Moon Base. What would you call your space station? I'm going to name it something else. Huh. Saturn Ascending. Saturn Ascending. That's where we're going to, that's the name of our base. Here we go. I don't even really remember how to play. It's been so long. Hopefully it doesn't crash right off the bat. That would have sucked. Alert, I've awoken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. So Endgame is getting off of the planet. All right, I need uh, to move some stuff around here. My cup was blocking the building. The building menu. Can't have that, right? All right, so we got some water over here. Zoom out a little bit. Zoom out, check it out. See, this is all iron ore. We got some free food right here. Got some food and oxygen over here. All right, we're gonna dig to the right to start. So what you do is you assign them orders like so, and then you just let them go to town. If you see up in the top left, those little exclamation points up here, it tells you, it gives you your main current objective of what you probably should be doing. Like I am going to build some outhouses. way over here though and then like anytime you build a uh, like a, a room you should always put a door on it because you can actually get bonuses from building actual room just click the harvest plants over here so when this is ready they'll harvest it and we'll be able to have one thing of food we're actually gonna go get this one too Holding shift down lets you go in a straight line. Oh, that wasn't shift. <laughs> I swear that it does though. Okay, that's good anyways. They can go up and down uh, a couple tiles. I don't remember exactly how many it is. If you see up here, there's a bunch of overlays. For instance, this is how much oxygen you have. So you have to pay attention to how much oxygen they're breathing in because you know it's not included. This is when you, this is your power grid. So basically once you start building machinery, you can keep track of how much uh, wattage and volts are going to each thing. This is temperature. 
maps is everything you can filter to find certain things in that overlay which is pretty good um plumbing so you have to plumb all your things to gas which is oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen etc a room overlay which is i already talked about that a little bit and then these are the the rooms that you can build so it's pretty pretty incredible game super fun very uh you know relaxing i i find this relaxing because it's kind of like watching an ant farm honestly like right now they already have too much to do i do have to plan a bedroom for them though you can't let them sleep on on nothing right they need to build this outhouse though Yeah, not enough materials, but it, it lets you, like, plan it out a little bit, you know? And then, actually, when I extend this, I have that like that. Dig this out. i to put one more tile. I don't know why I didn't put a tile here. Thank you. I'm gonna dig into this water over here because you need access to water fairly early Water is very finite in this game though. You run out quickly as you get into later game There are bedrooms gonna go up here Let me map this out I should have enough for the doors still. Enough copper ore. You see right here, it tells you what you're building it out of. I'm gonna dig all this out. So this is day one. Cycle one, it says up here. Let's see, when it gets up here, they, they have to sleep. So they will... I don't think I'm gonna build these... Uh, bedrooms in time so they'll get a debuff for a day or two but once they start sleeping in the bed they'll be happy again after that forgot to pay attention if any of them snore that's okay we'll figure that out as soon as they're sleeping in their bed want to get up here too the more resources you can get to easily like for instance all this stuff is useful you want all of that stuff and then I want them to dig out this ore That looks like a good plan for now. You gotta be careful. So they were digging into sand over here. The sand falls down and it doesn't have the dig order on it. So like that put that bathroom out of order. But uh, so you have to just watch over some of the stuff sometimes. Uh, late game, there's fires everywhere that you gotta put out. Everything goes wrong all the time, and it's uh, quite quite amazing. I'm so happy to be playing this and recording it. This is a me game, 100%. So now they're gonna eat. I think it's food time, supper time. You can you can always be planning in this game. 
ahead of time. Like, it doesn't really uh, affect like what they're doing. They'll just get to it eventually. And eventually, you'll, you'll have so many projects, you have to prioritize certain things over other things. We need a pitcher pump, so I'm going to build it right here. And I'm going to speed up the speed up the night cycles. So that was day one of oxygen not included. I'm going to play these for, you know, a few cycles at a time. Every cycle is about approximately 10 minutes. So maybe five cycles, four cycles. It depends on what's going on in the game, too, obviously. I'm just sitting here scratching my head. I'm not going to have you sit through that. Or maybe I will. See, they got the sore back debuff. And that little guy right there, that this guy right here, it's called a hatchling or hatch. And you can kill them and eat them as food, but you can also farm them to generate coal so they eat stuff and then they poop out coal input anything output coal so I've had games where I've farmed a whole bunch of them I want I'm gonna prioritize I really want them to finish the bedroom on this day so, and the bathrooms should be high priority too because they got to scoop them out eventually. These outhouses until you build real working bathrooms. So I actually put the bathrooms on, I'm going to put them on nine. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And I'm not sure if it prioritizes them running to the bathroom as soon as they have to go or not. But even if it does, it's not a bad thing. It keeps them happy when they when they don't have to urinate. And if they can't get to it, they just piss right on the ground. And you got to deal with that. Game came out a few years ago again. I still love it, though. It's just like a nice, mellow game that you can play sometimes you can even walk away from it and just let it roll but you have to have sustainable resources to do that and right now i do not i have no i basically have nothing the next thing i'm going to work on is probably our room which i want to build maybe uh, I'm gonna go somewhere else with it. I want it because it generates heat, and I want to keep the heat away from. I might go down here, like this could be my little power area. Yeah, I like I like that idea actually. So, thinking about building a room. Right here. That is going to be our power room. I'm just going to dig up all this. And we're going to make manual generator battery. Then you got to connect them. This is good practice in keeping your wires neat, by the way. And then we want to make an oxygen diffuser which you put algae in and then it outputs oxygen so we definitely need that and then what else do we need 
We need to build a research station so we can advance in the game. So that. And that's uh, good for them to build next. But I do want them to finish this. So I'm trying to kind of build it in the order that it should be built. I'm still playing on fast mode. I'm going to go back to regular speed. We we'll have to switch it back. But, uh, you know, the first 50 cycles or so, it's it's easy to play on fast mode. It's when, it, when there's fires that you have to put out everywhere that you kind of have to slow it down. Like right now, I definitely could have managed that, but I think it is fun just to kind of watch them sometimes. Like you can also zoom in on them and follow what they're doing. Like let's, Gene had to go to the bathroom. We're being voyeurs right now, but you know, let's see where Gene ends up. For the next cycle, we'll follow Gene for a little bit and see how the bathrooms have these meters on them. These meters will actually fill up and when they get red, so by the time I get red, I have to have some research done to make a, a compost, which I'm going to put down here and make a compost down here. And then probably a polluted water tank also. But we're not there yet. I've died many, many times from not having enough food in this game. So we also are going to have to build food at some point too you have to research farming once the research station is built i'll show you the research tree it's fucking crazy huge like there's a lot <laughs> and i haven't played in a long time so i don't really remember all the steps i've also never made it to the end i've never escaped i've gotten pretty close and i've gotten to like Five to eight hundred cycles, which I thought was pretty good. That was when the game came out a long time ago. I didn't have crazy amounts of work in my life. They're so peaceful when they sleep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put follow cam on our Nikola Tesla. Yeah, they're building the stuff that I wanted them to build. Very good. And I'm gonna set these three storage containers. All right. This button right here, copy settings, is one of the most important things in the game. So they have a stress level right here. It's measure. It looks like a brain. And if you let all this stuff pile up over time, it brings a decor in your base down and it causes stress for them. So this brain will start going up. There's other things that cause it too, but that's one of the things. So like earlier, early in this game, well, there's not a lot of stuff on the ground. I do want to sweep like this so then they will go pick all that stuff up and they will put it in those storage containers eventually but right now they're building sometimes they just prioritize on their own which is okay too and you can set you can set priorities to like nearest to them so as they move they'll clean up all the messes that are near them or you can set them for certain things like i could make tesla only run on the wheel when it's there the hamster wheel they do need to build this stuff though because the oxygen's getting pretty thin or it's thin down here this is all carbon dioxide which actually means i need to dig down a little further make like a co2 pit i 
I just put a ladder order that way down there. Yeah, they're working in CO2 right now, which is bad. So we need to have a place for the CO2 to move to. So the pressure of this gas will push the CO2 down here. And see, see how this is all sand right here? If I dig a lot of this out, that water will actually break break that sand. So I need to build a wall here. And eventually this will be a pit. It's going to be my clean water storage. Then they they won't be able to reach this right now. But that is going to be my clean water storage. So this thing right here spits out materials or new duplicates. Now I could take a new duplicate, but I don't want to right now because I don't have enough food. I don't, I'm not even at the point where I'm planting food. So I'm just gonna take shine nymph eggs, which if I build an egg cracker, I'm pretty sure they could eat. So I just started pumping out oxygen right here. They're gonna feed this thing algae and it's gonna make oxygen for me for early game. And now I want basic farming because you get a compost, algae terrarium planter boxes and a ration box. I actually am just gonna click here so I can get two done. It won't, it won't take them very long to get that research done. The problem with research is now one of them is going to be stuck on this machine here and it's draw drawing power from this battery. So as soon as this battery gets low, one of them has to go on here and then it's a never ending cycle of creating power and having enough manpower and enough food to survive through this game. But the food is good in a CO2 pit because oxygen actually rots the food if you don't eat it fast enough. So if you store the food in CO2, it slows the rotting food down. Now it's the end. That's going to be the end of cycle number two. I'm not in a bad position right now. I think I have, I have oxygen production happening, sweeping happening. And, you know, they're starting their little colony. We're doing fairly good right here. They don't like eating the mush bars though. They're eating mush bars, I'm pretty sure. Or no, they're eating nutrient bars. One of them might have some higher taste in, in food. I, I don't really know. I didn't pay attention that much. I don't care that much. I just like to play the game and chill out, if you know what I mean. This is gonna end up being a little farm area that I'm planning on building. I need to go down one more tile, I think. I'm gonna plant, plant some mealwood seeds is what they're called, is the starting point of the game. And then planter box one, two. I, I actually have to go down. No, I think that's enough. I need to go down one more. So right here. Planter box, one, two. So that fun sound was them finishing some research. And now I should have planter boxes in here. And then I'm literally just gonna line this whole thing with planter boxes except for the door.
I'm gonna give them multiple options to get down here. There we go. Gonna be my my greenhouse. You know what? Uh, food, food, food. Plant your box. Yep. There we go. There we go. Nice job doing that research. I got quite a bit of work to do still. So they have to feed the research machine water and dirt, I think. Yeah, and I like to leave the priority all at five as long as I can until I really need them to do something else, you know? Otherwise, you'll end up with everything on priority nine and none of them know what to do. They all just run all over the place like crazy little duplicates with their heads cut off. The other thing that happens in this game a lot too is uh, they can get trapped in tiles and they can die. They can they can suffocate. They can die from lack of food. There's all sorts of different ways for them to die. And when I said the research tree is big, oops. I really mean it's big. Like there's fucking a lot. There's a lot. All right. But anyways, for the second step, I want to get very basic plumbing. For me, that's always the second step in this game. I like them to have real bathrooms. So after I plant this farm, I'm gonna make some real bathrooms, probably over here, because I got a water source here. I'm gonna use this for food and this for bathrooms, probably. I also have to build a compost, which I should build um, kind of away from the food because what happens is uh, it gets hot. It's hot, like hot fucking garbage. So I think I should actually build it. I don't know where I should build it yet. I haven't decided. I do need to do it though. I don't want to open that pocket of uh, carbon dioxide. It's a vacuum. So it'll cause pressure to drop over here. So now I got basic plumbing. I'm going to put this back on regular speed again. First thing I want to build is this compost. So I got a door right here. So I'm going to build a room over here. A pretty big room. I know it's goofy looking, but I have a purpose for making it like that. good to have it close to the bathroom this bathroom too so they don't have to travel very far they can just carry the ship from here to over here and then bottle emptier it's uh oh to spin things around on the map like that when i first started playing that was like one of my main problems i'm like i have to build everything looking to the right i didn't know there was a, a function for it I'm not actually going to put a door on there yet because this 
gas will just travel through it. But this is going to emit polluted gas. And I don't want that getting in polluted oxygen. And I don't want that getting into my base. Even though it wouldn't really affect them that bad. All right, these require dirt to uh, grow too, so no one fed that yet. But I'm not, I'm not gonna use this yet. But I'm eventually gonna need these liquid pumps in these places. So I'm just gonna have them able to get there. It's good to plan ahead. I'm going to do one more cycle on this episode and then I'll do another episode, you know, sometime this week, maybe tomorrow. But uh, our base Saturn is ascending. They are becoming a colony. Right now they're taking a nap. They need their sleep after a hard day's worth of work. But I got some research done. I have one seed planted but I still have 22,000 k cows but they eat about 5,000 a day so with three of them I can survive like a day and a half on that so not great not great at all I'm hoping that in this uh, cycle they either build the farm or they build this over here still have half of they're not full yet so i'm doing all right i see that they did sweep a little bit if you click on this it shows you what's in here now so now they're going back onto their work schedule you can actually when you have 20 dupes or so you can set them all to different schedules so there's constant work happening which is important to the game. It's like you're the overlord and you are designing a whole entire colony by yourself. It's very, very resource management-esque. It's very uh, connect, knowing how to do your ins and outs. All right, I'm actually gonna raise the priority on the farm because that's what I want them to work on. And then I want them to work on this too. Those those things both need to happen before everything else. And we need constant oxygen, but I'm just gonna leave that at five because they're pretty smart. They'll feed it when it needs to be fed. See, this millwood seed is now growing. So that, that is my food starting to happen. I'm gonna plant another one here. He just wrecked it by taking the tile out from underneath it, but that's all right. He'll build that other tile there and it'll be fine. They also need to dig all this. Forgot to do that, I guess. All that needs to be priority six. See what I just did right here is a little scary because they don't have an exit from there and there's no oxygen down there. So potentially they can be dumb sometimes and they'll fall in here and then suffocate because you can't get them out in time. And I don't have enough oxygen to rush down there this is all carbon dioxide up here should be fairly good with oxygen though yeah it's very breathable you can do a quick check like this this dark area in here that's all carbon dioxide so once this is all dug out this will smooth out a little bit They are working in the carbon dioxide though, so they will take breaks and go breathe. You know, you have to breathe sometimes. What the hell? 
This game makes me super happy. There's something about it. Maybe it's the music. It's just super rela relaxing. I don't have enough seeds to fill these planters up, but I will. You find them in the map. There's little... These things right here. There's usually an item or a creature in these cracked, you know, you see them. That sandstone has something in it. But food is super important. You really need to keep up with food. I also need uh, to set some new research. So I got the basic bathrooms. That's good. I'm going to do that on the next episode. That takes a few cycles to do. But uh, after that, I'm going to go with uh, basic pressure management, I think. There is a sandbox mode in this game, too, which is really fun. So you can experiment with different like machines that you can build later with automation. And, uh, you know. There's all sorts of stuff you can do in this game. You can experiment building rockets, which I never really got into. I put so many hours in and just there was a whole nother layer that I couldn't figure out. I'm sure I could watch some tutorials and figure it out, but you know, who's got time for that shit? In the meantime, I'm just gonna record some episodes and have a good time hopefully you'll watch along with me very very interesting when i'm not doing anything i should click follow on one of them makes it a little more exciting yeah he got a buff because he's the center of attention he likes it he, so now he'll work harder because i zoomed the camera in on him yeah don't forget to breathe nicola that purple bar underneath their name is their oxygen level. Yeah, you get to work. They also level up their skills too, so like they become better at digging, they become better at running on the wheel, they become better at delivering things, etc. Farms always seem to take a fairly long time. It's a lot of digging and a lot of building in one small little area. Plus they're doing it in carbon dioxide. Which they don't really like very much. This colony will probably fail though. In the long run. There's a, there's a point in this game where I just can't figure out how to get past it. And there's so many fires to put out. You know, my managing skills aren't that great. I've tried. In this game. It's difficult. Early stages, it's not really difficult, though. I was wondering what Jean was doing running up there, but she was going to get a mealwood seed to plant. See, right now we're, we're out. We're not producing the oxygen because this this is idle. I should put this put the batteries priority up. Also on six because we need to have constant constant power. Hold on. I actually want to leave the oxygen generation on this one on five. Maybe I should put the wheel on six. Yeah, there we go. They're probably going to sweep those two things that I just put on six too, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. It'll take two seconds for them. Downtime. 
Yeah, eat that muck root. Doesn't that sound delicious? Fucking muck root. But we're gonna grow them some meal lice, which also sounds fucking delicious. As soon as this cycle ends, I'm gonna end this episode and we'll get back to it on another one eventually. But this is gonna be, a, you know, an over lapping series when I play on in this base I'm gonna record it and we'll see how far we get but uh as soon as the cycle flips over which is very very soon um I'm gonna pause it and then we'll be back on the next one so uh thanks for tuning in with me on this episode I fucking love this game if you've never played it before and you're interested in it, you should definitely buy it. It's not that expensive. It's on Steam, runs on Mac or PC. Doesn't take very much CPU. You can play it. You should. It's a great amount of fun. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, punch it if you have to. Later, y'all.